What's up, everybody? Welcome to my kitchen, where we feature a B&M brand, brown bread with raisins in it, canned bread, bread in the can, bread for people who worry about it molding and stuff. And we haven't had any of this yet, even though I really would like to, but now it's kind of a relic of the kitchen left by Laser Lavin when he left town. And we just kind of put it in the oven, or the cupboard, and we don't ever eat it. We've got cream of chicken and chicken noodle if we really want to go there. All those pasta roni, fettuccine alfredo, and shells and white cheddar is not too bad. We've also got some Jiffy Pop. Fun to make as it is to eat. It's really good. Um, I don't know, this fettuccine alfredo doesn't look too bad. Maybe pretty easy to one and a half, three tablespoons. Yeah, I think I can handle this. I might be able to clean pan, right? That, does that look clean to you? Does that look pretty clean? I think that looks really clean. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? It's just food, right? You're just gonna eat it. I mean, what's the point of it needing to be clean? One and a quarter, so we're gonna need almost two cups of water. We're gonna substitute water for milk because uh, we don't have any milk. One and three quarters should be sufficient for this. One and three quarters cups. Three tablespoons of margarine or butter. We have butter and, well, that's about six tablespoons. That should be good. I always like to double the amount of butter it likes, especially when I'm using water instead of milk. It makes it taste better too. And without even reading the directions, I just put it to max. Because I know the first thing we need to do is boil the water. Um, pepperoni pizza hot pocket is ready if you want a pepperoni one. That's sweet. Thanks. Yeah. It's hot. Be very careful. Pizza. These are pizzeria style hot pockets, crispy crust. They were on sale at the local Ray's food place kind of in Cresswell, Oregon. I've been going through them all week. I also have a freezer full of grass-fed cattle. That's really good. We could make a roast. Tomorrow could be roast day. Or there's some ribs in there. There's some country fried steak. Do you know how to cook ribs? Mm. You just slow cook them and baste them in barbecue sauce. Well, from Laser Lavin has got to know everything he needs to know about cooking. Yeah. Oh, I was looking for the directions to make this on my cell phone, but they're actually on this. <laughs> uh, combine pasta and special seasonings. One quarter cup of water, half cup milk, three tablespoons of margarine, butter, or spread, and stir. Bring just to a boil, reduce the load. Gently boil uncovered five to six minutes, or until pasta is slightly firm. Stir it frequently. Sauce will thin. Let's stand three to five minutes to thicken. Do not overcook. Do not overcook. Okay. The medium saucepan. Combine the butter, which we got the butter in there. We got the hot pot in the microwave. We got the butter in here. One pound is in the half of skin. Trying to come. Great big hero for oh, destination. I realized quickly that no world is made up of this brotherhood of man. For whatever that means. And so I cried sometimes when I'm lying in bed just to get it all out. What's in my head? And I'm feeling a little peculiar. And I wake in the morning, step outside. Take a deep breath. 
and get real high. And I say to myself and everyone else out there, what's going on? And I said, hey, yay. Yay, yay, yay. Hey, yay. Yay. I said hey. Why isn't it boiling? Bring just to a boil. Gently boil uncovered five to six minutes or until pasta is slightly firm. Why wow, you don't really cook this for that long. It's like you don't fuck around. Gently boil it for five to six minutes. Burn the fuck out of your, out of your hand on the pot pocket while you're at it. This is always the first thing I do, is eat. It helps. I just burnt my tongue so fucking bad. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck you, Hot Pocket. Now, okay. This is stewing on here, it makes two cups, so that means we got one cup each without a Hot Pocket. Do we want to go down barbecue beef lane? <clears throat> There's only two waffles. There's two of us. <laughs> Is that your drink? Yeah. I was like, okay, fuck. I thought I finished all of mine. You probably did. I'm drinking mine slow. I think you've actually had a second one poured already. And I'm selling my first one. No. You are mistaken. The second one isn't poured. The second one is fucking gone. <laughs> the second one's drank. Yeah. Drank, drank, drunk. Should we go out to the beef freezer and figure out what we're going to eat tomorrow? Beef freezer? Mm-hmm. And in the meantime, can we throw these in the microwave? Alright, I'm, I'm game. You're game? Yeah. Alright. That's barbecue beef. Alright. We got two minutes. Let's roll. We've got rib steak. Top sirloin. Short ribs. Cube steak. Top round. Or no, that's a boneless roast top round. The roast might be our deal for tomorrow. Just like that. It's gonna be the best fucking beef you've ever tasted in your whole goddamn life. Boneless roast, top round. Oh god. <clears throat> top round boneless roast. This is gonna be so good. Part of me like, what the fuck? Who the fuck are we? So we're gonna have a boneless roast with a fucking carafe of beef gravy. We're gonna make some beef hamburger gravy. That's what we're gonna order. Hamburger gravy with some boneless roast. There's gonna be potatoes in there. It's gonna be good. Fucking English muffin and we'd be stoked. We'd be fucking so stoked. And that's like, it's healthier. Oh, well, we're done. We're done. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, mm. oh man. This is going to make the 7.30 a.m. really something special.